Hi guys, welcome back. I've got another Excel tutorial for you today and today what we're going to go over is how you can copy and paste information using a macro in Microsoft Excel. This again has come based off a request on a previous video from my channel so I hope this helps you guys. So as the basis for what we're going to do today we're going to use one of the former documents that we've worked on uh, where we insert a new row Obviously you may have other applications for this, but again it's just to show you this in, in terms of a, an operational um, example. So just to explain what this macro does, it inserts a new row, it copies information from the cells that we have dropped down and puts them into that new row. Again, it's very simple when you take things like this step by step. So first of all I'll show you how it's done. Okay, you can see I press this button, we get a new row, and it's also pasting in the information that we want. So how do we achieve this one? First of all, I'm going to go into my design mode, I'm going to open up my button. Okay, we can see the code for our button here. If you're new to this channel, please look at my past videos, because this will be explained, what we're going through now. So, the uh, new code to make this possible lies here. Okay, so first of all, we're telling the macro which sheet we're working from and which range of information we want to copy. Okay, so first of all, we're copying the information. Then, what we're doing, and, and by the way, guys, this is where the information is copied from. I just want to make this very clear we need to insert the new row first okay this is really important when you're copying and pasting information in Excel you want the copy and the paste commands to be almost as close together as you can because what happens when Excel works with other things with macros is sometimes it will clear the clipboard where things are copied to and you may start to get error messages if you do that so in this example it works as you've seen first of all we tell them um, the macro where to get the information we want to copy from so this is actually on the information that's dropped down you can see A5 to E5 okay so and then after that selection.copy we're then going to tell the macro where to paste that information to so again this is essentially the row above a4 to A5, selection, paste, special, and paste values. Okay. What we then have is this line, application cut copy mode false. What this does is it just removes um, the selection box around where the information has been copied from. Okay. This is um, optional. If I remove this, just to show you what this what the difference is and then close this down. You'll see now when I run this I get I think they call them the crawling ants or something. Can you see this now? The application cut copy false removes that. Okay. I just like to keep it clean like that. But that's where we're copied from. I will put the code in the comments below. I will paste the entirety of the code and I will also paste just the cut copies um, the copy and paste commands as well just to keep, keep things separate just in case you have other purposes for this so I hope it's been helpful any comments drop them below see you next time